This video is brought to you by PowerPerformanceProducts.com. Get $15 off when you mention MMA interviews now. Spencer Lazara, MMAinterviews.tv. Here, UFC 160 Fight Week at the MGM Grand Garden and Casino. We're just outside the arena with Nashawn Burrell. Just got a sweat in downstairs or what? Yeah, yeah coming from the crazy nice sauna in here, man. We got a fatigued fighter in the house today. He's, he's just trying to keep his breath. A little dry right now. Keep so, my lips. <laughs> your second fight in the octagon, you came off a win over Yuri Villafort just a few months back. That was a short notice fight. You've had a little more time to prepare for this one. You're taking on Steven Wonderboy Thompson this Saturday. Talk about the matchup. Um, I can't wait, man. Two good strikers going at it, you know. I don't see any takedowns in sight, man. Standing and banging. Is, is that safe to say? I mean, he's, he's obviously has a lot of experience with his Kenpo background and martial arts background. You are more of a boxer, so obviously want to get in the pocket more, stay tight, and use your hands then? Um, you know, mix it up a little bit. Um, it is safe to say that it's going to stay standing. You know, um, yeah, I, I definitely want to stay in the pocket. You don't want to give a lot of kickers. You want to give kickers a lot of space to, you know, be able to throw effective kicks. So it's going to be a lot of, you know, inside fighting. He's got probably more experience overall in martial arts, but you probably have more MMA fights. So how does that sort of play out in terms of the experience factor? Does it? Um, you know, not really. It all it all goes out the window once you get hit. You know, once it, then it you know turns and a fight is a fight, man. It doesn't matter how long you've been in there. What are you taking in though, as far as what you learned in your octagon debut? Were there any jitters there? Do you feel like you'll be more comfortable this go around? Um, no jitters. It was it was fun. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have any jitters. This is just what you do. Don't let me do all the talking. Uh, I you can do as much talking as you want. Um, um, yeah. It's, it's, if I train hard, if I feel as though I train hard, then you know fighting is the easy part. Cutting weight is the hardest part. You know. I think me. a lot of people don't don't understand that that that's. As big, or, uh, like you said, it's harder than the fight to make that weight, the training, and then you got to cut the weight, and then the fight's the fun, right? That's why people, you know, that's why when we see people nervous, man, it's probably because they didn't train right. <laughs> and, you, and, like, do you see guys get cut, of course, as well in fights, and they're like, they hate when a fight gets stopped over something like a cut or something like that, or an early stoppage or whatnot, because you guys work so hard in the gym, and then to get that weight, that you don't want it to stop on, on some nonsense. Uh, fortunately, I never got cut. I never had a fight stop because of a cut, so I can't really say nothing. But I would be saying nothing, anything about it. But oh, stumbling. But I would be devastated if it ended by a cut, especially after all the work I put in. I wish we could zoom in. He doesn't have uh, it. Doesn't have any scars at all on that forehead, man. Well, anything else you want to say? Talk about your, pre you know, your preparation. Guys that have helped you get to get here. Uh, the mad scientists over there, a ton. That's the guy, you know, come with me for all my fights. He get me ready for every fight. Yeah. That's about it. That's your dude. Nothing else? Yeah, nothing else. I told you. I'm We're going to let this man get some water, <laughs> get some, maybe a little bit of food. Nashawn Burrell, Spencer Lazar. Make sure to check him out. UFC 160 this Saturday night.